what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to hang myself. It's not just that I had my breakup, but I just managed to read Emily Dickinson's poetry and I was so fascinated that I actually want to commit suicide. But then there's something that stops me and that is the optimism of Robert Frost. In uh, the morning, I just came across a poem by Robert Frost and it was filled with so much optimism that I dropped the idea of committing suicide. So I feel American poetry is so blessed with different kind of themes and people writing about different subject matter. India is best as well, we cannot underestimate our country, but then we'll be talking about Indian poetry some other day. In today's video, let's come and talk about some really important American poets and some famous American poetry. Now let's talk about one of the most famous American poets. She is Emily Dickinson. Emily Dickinson has written more than 1000 poems in her lifetime and I'm not kidding friends, she has actually managed to write 1000 poems. There are people like me who cannot manage to write even a single poem, but then we have great literary superstars like Emily Dickinson who have written so many poems. She remained isolated in uh, her lifetime and uh, all her poems were published after her death and she's been called none of Amherst. You must remember this thing that just because of her isolated nature, she she was called Nun of Amherst and this was a question in December 2012 that who is called Nun of Amherst and it is uh, Emily Dickinson. We also find that there are so many themes uh, which are there in his uh, inner poems. We have themes of nature, theme of death, theme of hope. Uh, animals come as symbols in her poems because she has this love for animals. She has written this famous poem called uh, I Heard the Fly Was Speak. So, you know, she loves animals and she uses them as symbols in order to convey her feelings. Uh, one very, very important and famous poem written by Emily Dickinson is Hope is a Thing with Feathers that Perches in the Soul. Here in this poem, she has uh, tried to compare hope with a bird and, uh, you know, she has made this comparison saying that, you know, just like a bird is there in a ca uh, cage, similarly, hope is there in my heart. And even in the darkest times of my life, I can hear the voice of hope. There is another very influential poem by Emily Dickinson, Because I Could Not Stop for Death, uh, He Kindly Stopped for Me, The Carriage Held But Just Ourselves and Immortality. It's a very, very important poem and in this poem she beautifully portrays death as something which she welcomes and she says that death is a means to carry your soul to an eternal world and she embraces death. She is not a person who is frightened by death but she says that death is so beautiful. It will take your soul to a different plane and you will rejoice and uh, sing uh, forever. So that's, that's the concept of death and this is how Emily Dickinson approaches death and approaches hope. So, I would recommend you all to read some really really important poems especially Hope is a Thing with Feather and Because I Could Not Stop for Death. There are so many other important poems of Emily Dickinson. You uh, can see the list of all the important poets uh, associated with American literature on my website www.arpitakarva.com. You can go and check a list and start preparing for UGC net accordingly. In my website you will find a uh, section called online course content. In that under the module 2 I have listed all the important American writers that you must study if you are preparing for UGC net exam. So if you like that list you can join my online course because in that course I give you detailed notes and detailed summary of all the important writers, their works and important questions from net point of view. The next important and famous American poet that we are going to talk about is Walt Whitman. I hope you guys have seen Dead Poet Society. It's a fabulous movie uh, which talks about a university wherein we have a teacher called Mr. Keating played by famous actor Robin Williams. And uh, that teacher, Mr. Keating, he is trying to teach literature to the college students. And while he's teaching literature, he gives references about so many uh, great literary poets and writers. And he tries to uh, teach the students the real flavor of literature. So he's a wonderful teacher and uh, you know uh, that movie is a must watch for all the literature lovers. I've been uh, watching that movie since uh, four or five years and I've never got enough of it. So I would recommend you to go and watch that movie because there is this very famous scene in that movie when Robin Williams asks all the students to stand on the table of their study table and shout out loud a very famous line and that line is, I sound my barbaric yaw over the rooftops of the world. Yes. 
He says that I sound my barbaric yawp over the rooftops of the world. And if you're wondering where these lines come from, it is a very, very famous line said by Walt Whitman. Walt Whitman is a poet, poet who has written uh, poems in free verse. And this free verse style was also used by Emily Dickinson as well. And this is a very prominent question in that exam that uh, Walt Whitman used which kind of verse in his poetry. And it is free verse and open form basically. So so we find that Walt Whitman has written so many important works out of which Oh Captain, My Captain is very important. It was in, uh, written for Abraham Lincoln uh, who is the President of America. He has also written a collection of poems under Songs of Myself and there is a very very beautiful poem which is a part of that collection which says, I celebrate myself and what I assume you shall assume because every atom that belongs to me as good belongs to you. So you see how he's talking about the transcendentalist theme and uh, just like Emerson in Henry David Thoreau, he too believes in soul and how nature influences each and every person. Uh, we have Henry David Thoreau who speaks this beautiful line that I went to the woods in order to live deep. I wanted to live deliberately and suck out the marrows of life. And on the other hand, we have uh, Emerson talking about uh, how nature and how soul will help you to connect to the over soul. Okay, and he talks about all these ideas in his famous uh, essay, Self Reliance and American Scholar. So we find that all these people are talking about transcendentalist ideas, and uh, there is this literary movement which was going in America during that time called transcendentalism, which had members like Walt Whitman, Henry David Thoreau. Uh, we had Margaret Fuller as a part of that uh, movement. Also, the main uh, prominent writer was uh, Emerson, Ralph Waldo Emerson. So these are some important thing that you must remember about Walt Whitman. Now let's move on to the third important American poet. Now let's look at my favorite poet Robert Frost. Robert Frost is called New England Poet and this was a question in December 2006 wherein they asked that New England Poet is a term given to and the answer was Robert Frost. We also understand that Robert Frost's poems are very approachable and very connectable. Uh, the reason behind it is that he's talking about uh, real life incidences and experiences and he's observing the society and then writing very simple and very easy to understand poems. And that is why we find that Robert Frost's poetry is there in the school curriculum as well. So, you know, uh, I remember when I was in 8th standard, there was this poem, Road Not Taken, which was a part of our English curriculum. And uh, there was these beautiful beautiful lines of those poems uh, that two roads diverged into a wood and I took the one which was less travelled by and that has made all the difference and I still remember that when many a poem I was so moved by this poetry that I decided that life I will take up a career which is a different or I will take aisa cheese kar that I am able to add value to the society and that's why I started uh, teaching English literature so कहीं ना कहीं यू सी कि रॉबर्ट फ्रॉस्ट की जो पोएट्री है उससे आप बहुत ज़्यादा अपने लाइफ decisions and life choices ko connect kar paayenge and you will be able to actually mold your life accordingly. Then there was this beautiful poem which I read in uh, my 10th standard uh, which said that uh, stopping by woods on a snowy evening and there were these beautiful lines uh, by which these poems end and the line was that the woods are lovely dark and deep and I have promises to keep in miles to go before I sleep in miles to go before I sleep. So these were the lines which were quoted by Jawaharlal Nehru in a letter which uh, he wrote for his uh, daughter Indra Gandhi. So you can see how influential these lines must have been that Jawaharlal Nehru wrote these lines for Indra Gandhi. So you find that you know all the poems of Robert Frost are like that. We have poem called Birches which is a very very uh, understandable and a very very important poem from net point of view also. Then there is this poem Fences uh, which has this line good fences make good neighbor. And you'll see this line was a part of Robert Frost's poem, but it has been used so much that it has become a proverb, a maxim. So you find that Robert Frost's jitni bhi poems, hai, they all are very, very approachable. And kisi bhi age ka insaan, koi bhi background ka insaan in poems ko padta hai, to he is able to actually uh, understand and realize the words of poetry. So we have so many other uh, poets like Robert Frost. We have uh, Sylvia Platt, we have uh, Ezra Pound, we have... 
William Carlos William. These are also some very, very influential American poets. We study all these American poets and their important poetry in my online course, uh, which is available on my website www.arpitakarva.com. I make sure that I cover all the poems and poets. I cover each and every important point which is relevant from net point of view. Also, I cover detailed summary of all these important poems. So that you don't need to go to any other website or any other uh, book you don't need to refer. And you can directly understand the poem from my audio lectures. But before you leave, I would like to uh, tell you that please do subscribe to my channel. Because I post videos every Saturday and every Sunday to help you with your UGC net English preparation. Also, if you like this video, do give it a big fan thumbs up. And don't forget to share this video with other net aspirants. You can also follow me on social media. I am there on Facebook, Google+, Instagram. I'm also there on WhatsApp and Telegram. I post a GoNet quiz on all these social media platforms every day. So you can join me on social media platforms so that every time I post a GoNet quiz, you are notified about it. Till the time we meet next. Bye-bye. Happy learning and keep loving literature.